How much longer until you can get Pau Gasol back into your lineup? That question and more answered on Stardom Sidham. What's going on? I'm Lauren Shahadi alongside fantasy basketball writer Sergio Gonzalez. I think a lot of fantasy owners, as well as myself, thought he'd be back a little bit sooner, but we saw that hamstring injury earlier in the season. It took him a while. Yeah, it's taking him a lot longer to recover from injuries than fantasy owners would like. It's actually taking him longer to recover from injuries than Coach Phil Jackson would like. He actually mentioned this week that it's taking him uh, – longer to recover from these bumps and bruises than most players, and they're going to keep him out of the lineup until he's 100% clear of any setbacks. And fantasy owners should pay close attention to that this weekend uh, right here on CBSSports.com. Also remember that your lineup deadlines on Monday are going to be earlier due to the Martin Luther King holiday. So these situations are going to have to be resolved by 1 o'clock before you set your lineup. All right, get right on that. Opportunity is definitely knocking in Washington for Randy Foy. Obviously, Gilbert Arenas is not there. He's kind of got the load on his shoulders, but he's doing pretty well. Nice numbers. Yeah, he's actually doing a pretty good job of impersonating Gilbert Arenas. He's putting up around 20 points and 7 assists over his last five games. That's not something we think fantasy owners should expect. He averaged around 16 points and 4 assists last season in Minnesota. We think He'll be more or less a, 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 along those numbers, but that could be very good for fantasy owners. If he's somewhere in between going forward and we like his matchups in week 13, fantasy owners will be very happy with that type of production. Starting up, Foy, sitting down Allen Iverson. Why? Matchup still concerned about the knee. What's the deal? Yeah, he's not completely healthy. He's dealing with a chronic arthritis issue that has really uh, caused him to miss some games on short notice recently. That's not going to go away, and until fantasy owners... Uh, are comfortable with the fact that he could miss games on short notice. In a week where so many teams play four games, we think fantasy owners should play it safe and go with uh, somebody that's not going to miss games on short notice. Not going to miss games. That's always good as a fantasy yeah, owner, want right? Consistent minutes, consistent points. Matt Barnes, you see where I'm going here? He went off on Wednesday night. He's got my attention. Sir. Yeah, he should, Lauren. And he really should have the attention of most fantasy owners. He's a player who, much like we were talking about with Randy Foy, Fantasy owners shouldn't expect the 28 points and 9 rebounds he had on Wednesday night, but the numbers he can produce consistently are still very solid. And as long as he continues to see around 30 minutes per game like he's been getting in the starting lineup, we think he's a player who's going to put, put up great numbers, and we like his matchups in Week 13. Hito Turkoglu is probably a guy getting your attention for the wrong reasons. He's clearly struggling. He's even admitted, hey, you know, I'm not really into my role yet in Toronto. Can yeah. you blame him? I and mean, that, that's definitely something that should concern fantasy owners. Ironically, we were just talking about Matt Barnes, who has his old role in Orlando, and he's a start. But with Hito Turkoglu, he's a sit because right now he's putting up really bad numbers. He's shooting just two of nine from the field in his last two games. And until he gets comfortable in this role, fantasy owners should continue to sit him. He's a player that when he's, uh, when he's on a roll, you can still start him. But right now, he's just not on a roll. So, so not now, no, right? Exactly. So that's the moral Pretty of the simple. story. Hey, sir, do you remember like in grade school when you're rebounding and you're, you're teaching rebounding drills? Uh -huh. It's like Samuel Dallenbear is like the exact model of what coaches he's wanted exactly us to do. He's exactly what you would want. I was more of a shooter myself. Oh, really? I'm a ball hog, what nice. can I say? But yeah. he's out of control. He's crashing the boards left and right. right 21 boards the other night? Yeah, he's actually had two 20 rebound games in the last couple, and fantasy owners should expect for that to continue. He's been a good rebounder and a shot blocker consistently in the past, but where we're getting surprising results from is actually in his scoring. He's actually been able to put up around 10 points per game, and as long as that continues, fantasy owners could really count on him as a solid number two center. We aren't sure exactly how long this is going to continue, but as long as that's the case, ride uh, Sally, Samuel Dallenbert while he's hot. Good news for him. Bad news for Roy Hibbert owners. Troy Murphy is back. We knew this day would come. You've been telling me. Yeah, we've been warning fantasy owners about this in the last couple of weeks. When Troy Murphy's there, he's a completely different player. Not because of the production that he um, is able to contribute, but because of the role he's used in. And he's really just getting around 20 minutes here, 15 minutes the next night. And until his uh, playing time becomes more consistent, fantasy owners aren't going to know what to expect from him. He did have a good game this week, but that was in 24 minutes. He's not going to have too many big games in that type of playing time. So until his role changes, uh, fantasy owners should steer clear of uh, Roy Hibbert. You know what? I'm going to work on my rebounding skills. You, you should, should work on your fantasy you want a team. Complete, well That's game, right. right. I want a well-rounded I want to be a well-rounded basketball player. Work on your fantasy team. We will help you. For Sergio Gonzalez, I'm Lauren Shahadi. Until next time.